Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer. Welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling, the channel dedicated to wrestling video games. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am bringing you something a little different. Normally I do let's plays or calls and things like that. Um, but I'm actually showing you some footage from a recent Twitch stream. Actually, as I record this, this Twitch stream was yesterday when I was recapping my thoughts on the G1 Climax special uh, and also doing pr a little preview for um, the upcoming G1 Climax tournament. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to make this video is because during yesterday's stream, uh, when I was playing Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, I was asked once again how to unlock the Destroyer Mask as well as the Dark Hayabusa Mask, Dark Side Hayabusa Mask. And I figured I would take the highlights of what I did on Twitch and just make a quick video to show how they're done. Later on I'm going to do like a full guide tutorial of unlocks in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 but I figured since I did this live this is something that keeps coming up. We're going to start with the, the Destroyer Mask and basically you have to beat Giant Baba in a submissions match but you can only do it in a player 1 versus player 2 matchup and you see here I have it frozen on the settings you need it has to be a submission match so follow these settings basically you can turn submission on you can keep rope break on I don't think turning it on or off matters you can also have it set to quick match which will make it go a lot faster if you don't know already what quick match does basically when you do a submission onto your opponent they're pretty much gonna tap out right away or most likely the next time you put that same submission hold again uh, it's very useful for the MMA matches if you want to do like uh, very realistic MMA battles because usually in MMA once someone has a submission hold it's over right um, so here I am playing as giant Baba and again the reason why there's so much confusion over these two masks is because there's a lot of outdated information uh, that hasn't been updated floating around on GameFAQs and various other sites. So when people look to unlock all the different attires and wrestlers, the Dark Side Hayabusa mask and the Destroyer mask are two that I constantly get asked about because the information just seems to be misleading. Usually what it says is just beat Baba in a submission match and that's not the whole story. Uh, for some reason, you have to do this with a uh, one player versus a two player. It can't be done against a computer opponent. It doesn't have to be a Baba Mirror match. I just did that because I was kind of goofing around and having fun. Because that's what I do on Twitch. And if you don't already follow me on Twitch, I mean, I guess, you know, very, it's now's the best time to say, you know, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash be better gamer. There, you know, real quick while this match is going on, look at my overlays I have set up. I bought these overlays from Nerd or Die. Uh, after spending several days trying to make my own, I decided to buy my own stream package, uh, which wasn't expensive actually, it was fairly cheap, so I highly recommend them, recommend them Nerd or Die. Um, there we got Joe Higuchi coming out in the lower right hand corner. Uh, he's actually one of my subscriber emotes, my false finish subscriber emote. On the upper right is my follower goal. We're about 125 followers going re trying to reach 200 upper left is our current donation goal we're halfway for WWE Smackdown here comes the pain I've been having a lot of fun on Twitch a lot of people have been asking me here on YouTube where are you where have you been why haven't you uploaded recently well you can find me pretty much every day on Twitch uh, I stream now in the evenings 8 30 p.m. to about midnight Eastern time zone but if you go to twitch.tv you can check my schedule and it will show you the time as it is on your time zone so whatever time zone you are just go on my channel check the channel page and uh, you'll see the time zones updated to reflect your time zone but here it is here I am unlocking the destroyer mask easy right it's simple it's really simple there's the trick there's the mystery people have been asking me constantly on this channel for it and uh, yeah I get it um, you know a lot of the information is outdated I don't know personally too much about the destroyer I know he was a very popular heel wrestler back in the 
you know, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Wrestled a lot uh, for WWA. Uh, wrestled a lot for AWA. And in Japan, he wrestled primarily for All Japan. But I, I believe he also did some work for other promotions like New Japan. Had a, a big rivalry with Giant Baba, which is probably why you have to beat Giant Baba um, to unlock his mask. Uh, also, when I was doing some research about him, he apparently opened up a golf park course in Akron, New York, which is about 45 minutes away from where I live. So maybe maybe one day I'll head over there and uh, find out more information about the Destroyer. But next up, we got the Dark Side Hayabusa mask. Now, this is the one that I feel like a lot of pr people have trouble with. And a lot of people say you can only do this with a one player versus two player match as well But I put it one player versus computer because I know you can do it that way Here are the settings you need you need to beat Taka Michinoku playing as Hayabusa very important in a first blood match here You can see I turned everything off all the wind conditions are off except for bloodshed which says first blood Time limit is off, pin is off, TKO, everything. Submission, rope break, ring out. Make sure you turn everything off, even time count. Just leave bloodshed on, first blood. Uh, you have to play as Hayabusa. For some reason, when I was trying to unlock this yesterday, I swore you didn't have to play as Hayabusa, and I actually tried it, and I guess I remember that wrong. Um, you have to play as Hayabusa against Taka Michinoku, and you can do it as a one player versus computer as I'm going to show you right now. If it still doesn't work for you, if it still doesn't work for you one player versus computer, then go ahead do a one player versus two player version of this match. And that should work because every single unlock that has to do with exhibition mode matches, um, you can do them one player versus two player. You'd actually, that's actually kind of like a little secret in Easter Egg. Um, you don't have to do computer only matches to unlock these items. You can do uh, one player versus two player. So if you want to unlock things faster, instead of actually having to fight these uh, computer opponents, you can just do one player versus two player. Sometimes just throw in like quick match option again just to win the match. Uh, and that'll be a fast way to unlock some things. But here, uh, with first blood, also it's a little weird. Normally in the Aki games, when you do a first blood match, and you bust your opponent open and they start bleeding, the match is supposed to end right away. For some reason, you have to do it twice here. It doesn't work like it, how it does in, in No Mercy or even in WrestleMania 2000. So you have to unlock them twice. So here I am playing as Hayabusa against Taka Michinoku on expert difficulty because I was just, again, I was just fooling around having fun. Uh, when I play Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 on Twitch, as you saw when I did the settings um, and I showed you the different rules you have to have, I play with the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation patch. But Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 is not the only wrestling game I've been playing. A couple of months ago when I started on Twitch, uh, we went through the whole Day of Reckoning series. We went through Day of Reckoning 1 and Day of Reckoning 2. Uh, as, you, as I mentioned, you know, SmackDown Here Comes to Pay is a donation goal. We've actually hit several wrestling game donation goals already on Twitch. Thank you to everyone who has contributed and donated and shown their support, uh, either by donating or subscribing to me on Twitch. I really appreciate it. Even if you don't have any money to send my way, I, I'm not trying to solicit constantly. Um, but you know, the donations, uh, I want to be very transparent on what they're going to, which is why I always put donation goals. I want you to know where your money is going to, to supporting my channel. It's always going to be to making new content or to playing new games on Twitch. Uh, but just to follow on Twitch helps just watching me, just coming to hang out and watch is fine. You know, you don't have to always, you know, throw money my way or subscribe, but I do want to let people know that when you when you do this stuff, um, you know it it, it it helps going towards the channel. We've already hit a few donation goals. Uh, Natsumi Championship Wrestling was a donation goal. Was the first donation goal. We've played that on Twitch already. Uh, we are currently playing. Actually, tonight I will be playing Impact Wrestling on Twitch, trying to finish up the story mode there, and then I'm gonna try to unlock the rest of the achievements in the game. I'm playing on the 360 version. Um, another donation goal was the AAA game, the Lucha Libre Heroes del, del Ring. Uh, that's another donation goal we reached. Uh, WWE All-Stars, which is sort of the over-the-top 
um, almost reminiscent of the GameCube wrestling games, the Ultimate Muscle Wrestling games, but WWE style. Fire Pro Wrestling D, we offer the Dreamcast. We've already played Fire Pro Wrestling Returns for the PS2 on Twitch. Uh, and I want to move. I want to show everyone off Fire Pro Wrestling D because that was the Fire Pro Wrestling game I most remember playing. Obviously, we have Fire Pro Wrestling World coming up in August for the PlayStation 4. It's already out on PC, so I highly recommend probably getting it on the PC if you don't have a PS4. I don't have a PC. I use a Mac, and I don't have a PS4, so I'm hoping uh, either miraculously a PS4 shows up in my household or maybe they'll do an Xbox One port so I can play Fire Pro Wrestling World. Um, but yeah, we're working towards SmackDown. Here comes some playing, and there we go. Knocking Taka Michinoku. There you saw I had to use weapons twice. To bust him open, but the second time, even though he was already bleeding, I got him. Look at him trying to run away. Come on, Taka. You can't escape it. The barbed wire bat. <laughs> got him as he was running away. Oh, man. I had a lot of fun last night doing this Twitch stream. Um, you know, and I, I've been... I've been sort of backlogged with creating content for Virtual Wrestling 2, No Mercy, and all the other wrestling games that I've been wanting to create content. The summer transition has been a little challenging to me uh, with my kids being home all day, uh, but I am still working on stuff. This video I just wanted to get out because I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone and, you know, show everyone an answer to a question like I, I kid you not along with like call requests this is probably one of the most asked questions on my channel or is to unlock these masks but here we go live on twitch in front of everyone one player versus computer unlocking dark side hayabusa so that's it that's all i wanted to show you that's the only thing i wanted to show you today i still am working on so many things for the Aki games and other wrestling games as well. I think the Dark Side Hayabusa mask looks really cool. I've actually never seen a match with Dark Side Hayabusa. I know it was one of Hayabusa's alter egos, but I've never seen one. So if you have a link to one of the Dark Side Hayabusa matches or you know of one, let me know um, so I could probably check one out. Because to this day, I still haven't seen it. I remember unlocking this mask back in the day and thinking, like, who's Dark Side Hayabusa? But there you go, you can follow me on Twitch once again, Be Better Gamer, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I have a Facebook page that I've done nothing with, but I'm there. Everything is really easy to find, Be Better Gamer. Uh, if you want to check out some other Virtual Wrestling 2 calls, you know, you can click the, the little thumbnails here that I have for my Virtual Wrestling 2 calls and my Virtual Wrestling 2 Let's Plays. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully I'll see you on Twitch. Until next time, you know what to do. Keep watching all the wrestling. Thank you.